We'll start by noting the history, which is that the patient is a 25-year-old male with recent chest pain. This case, as most cases are, are displayed as a series of short axis images in the top row, which demonstrate overall normal function. However, there does appear to be focal thickening of the anterior wall with apparent slight increased signal on these true FISP or steady state pre procession images. The second row demonstrate T2 weighted images, which again demonstrate high signal in the anterior wall at the mid ventricular level, extending, as you can see on this two chamber T2 weighted image, to involve the apex. Post contrast CNA imaging also confirms the areas of abnormal high signal with apparent increased uptake of contrast and delayed enhancement images as seen in this row demonstrate abnormal uptake which is nearly transmural but appears to spare significant portions of the subendocardium at the apex. Here again we have a short axis view showing the anterior wall uptake extending to the apex and then the two chamber view confirms the extensive uptake with sparing of the apex. One can then go and reveal the diagnosis, which is that this patient has myocarditis. He had undergone a cardiac catheterization, which demonstrated normal coronary arteries, and the myocarditis explains the abnormal high signal in the uh, T2-weighted images, as well as the abnormal contrast enhancement of the anterior wall, as seen on the two-chamber views, which were noted to spare the subendocardium. In evaluating these delayed enhancement images, the first distinction that needs to be made is between a coronary artery disease-related pattern, which you know, universally involves the subendocardium, versus the non-ischemic patterns, which often spare the subendocardium. This pattern, in concert with the patchy uptake noted, is entirely consistent with the patient's clinical diagnosis of viral myocarditis.